Hi, everybody. It's Miss Shearer here again, and we have a Luna behind us sleeping so peacefully. So again, if you hear any meows or anything, then it's probably just her. We are going to continue talking about fact and opinion. Go ahead and share my screen. All right. So this is Language Arts Week 7, Day 2 for fact and opinion for fourth grade. Our objective this week is that the student will draw conclusions and make inferences using facts and opinions. Let's go ahead and review. A fact is something that has to be true. It can be proved every single time. An opinion expresses a personal belief, feeling, or an idea. It's what you think and how you feel about anything. So today we're gonna to focus more on facts. Some key words that we can look for when we are trying to figure out if something is a fact or an opinion is proven, when we see numbers or percentages, measured, expert, Verified, heard, saw, and research. So when we read, we make inferences, and inferences rely on facts. So we're going to do some practice on that today. So we're going to read a Newzella article titled Chicago Aquarium Releases Penguins After Exhibits Closed Due to Coronavirus. As you read, I want you to look for fact keywords. And I want you to record three facts in a T-chart and an opinion T-chart. So your T-chart will look like this. And you can see that there's a lot more than just three bullets there. Feel free to list as many facts as you want. We're gonna do opinions tomorrow, so just focus on the facts. And if you would like to go ahead and pause the video now or exit out of it, go right ahead, because I'm going to read the article aloud to you. But if you wanna read it on your own, you can bring up the article on your own and read it to yourself. All right, so this is Chicago Aquarium releases penguins after exhibits closed due to coronavirus. And this was posted on March 23rd, 2020. A few waddling residents at Shedd Aquarium got to take a field trip. Shedd is in Chicago, Illinois. Recently, it closed. Visitors are not allowed because of the coronavirus. The coronavirus is a flu-like illness. It began in China. It has been spreading across the globe since December 2019. Penguins check out other animals. Three penguins got to leave their exhibits. They checked out the other animals. The aquarium shared the video on Twitter on March 15th. The aquarium says the caretakers are getting creative in how they provide enrichment to animals. The animals are being given new activities. They also get new food and experiences. One video shows a rock hopper penguin named Wellington. He visits the aquarium's Amazon Rising exhibit. It has animals from the Amazon River Basin. It is the largest river system and rainforest on Earth. The river, river basin is in South Africa. Wellington is the oldest penguin at the aquarium. He is 30 years old. Wellington has lived at Shedd since it opened in 1991. Wellington was interested in the fish at the Amazon Rising. They also seemed interested in him. Another video shows two penguins named Edward and Annie. They are a pair of rock copper penguins. They waddle past a tank. It's full of sharks and rays. They make it all the way towards the information desk. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker is in charge of the state. He shut down all the restaurants. He also closed schools. Public gatherings of over 50 people are also not allowed. On March 16th, President Donald Trump announced the new guidelines. Americans must avoid gatherings of more than 10 people and limit personal travel. The practice is called social distancing. 
Staying away from people can help slow the spread of the new coronavirus. Trump said the new rules could last until August. Many popular attractions have had to close. Live streaming shows with popular animals. Zoos are also closed because of the coronavirus. Some use the internet to stay connected. They are live streaming shows with popular animals. The Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden has a show with Fiona the Hippo. The El Paso Zoo has zoo cams. Viewers can sneak a peek at the animals' daily lives. Hector is a Patagonian Mara at the Fort, w- Fort Worth Zoo. The Patagonian Mara is a large rodent. <clears throat> he has also stepped out for some fresh air while the zoo is closed. <clears throat> Hector got to meet three excited otters during his trip. They are Benji, Hudson, and Makia. Shed will remain closed until March 29th. The public can follow Edward and Annie online. They are beginning to build their nests. They will start the net the nest they will start the next the week of March 23rd. And yes, Wellington will return, the aquarium tweeted. All right, so you are going to write down some facts and opinion or just some facts on this article. And we will do the opinions tomorrow when we talk more about opinions and the keywords for that. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. It is up to you to make it happen. And I'll see you tomorrow.